Okay, Brand. Um, you came at least for the Stockholm School of Economics for the second time. And uh, what would be the topic of the seminar today? Uh, today I'll be uh, talking about international retailing as a Canadian, um, talking a little bit about why uh, certain retailers are successful in Canada, uh, why certain retailers in Canada uh, have been less than successful going out of Canada, and uh, more importantly, what some retailers are doing in Canada to almost uh, discourage international retailers to come. Mm -hmm. well, I noticed that you spent some time walking around uh, through our stores and what would be the difference in, in, in your opinion between stores in Canada and ones in St. Petersburg for instance? Sure, um, I always mention I go shopping and that's considered work. Um, my wife never believes that, that, uh, that that's actually work. Uh, the number of brands and the selection of shops here in, in St. Petersburg uh, is, is quite similar to downtown Toronto, our largest uh, city. Uh, there seems to be a lot more people, obviously, and uh, a lot more people shopping, I guess, uh, for longer periods during the day. Uh, a lot of our shopping is still uh, mostly on weekends. and. Uh, supermarket shopping you know, later in the evening. Uh, here in St. Petersburg it seems people are shopping all the time uh, or at least go, coming and going uh, from the shops. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. And what do you think, like talking about marketing models mm -hmm. for shops, for stores, for malls, would be the same models as you use in Canada for marketing or promoting stores working here in Russia or would be there any difference between applying the models? Um, I think the in terms of uh, advertising, particularly in store uh, promotions, uh, is very similar. Um, to be honest, in terms of the actual price of the products, um, some things obviously are higher and, and, and some are lower. Uh, from watching uh, on television, the types of commercials, I find uh, in, in Russia the, the TV commercials are I don't want to say they're more loud, but they're, they're more active, maybe, than, uh, than our commercials. Um, but some of that could just be the, the, the difference in the language. But, but certainly, uh, the look uh, and the, uh, of the types of advertising and commercials is very similar uh, to in Canada. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, you are like, running a lot of research mm -hmm. in terms of uh, shops, in terms of stores, in terms of consumer behavior in Canada mm -hmm. uh, and also, yeah, we made a little, little research here joint research in terms of stocking and so on <coughs> but uh, would you like to like for, uh, somehow plan some, some, some researches here in Russia? Would it be interesting for you? Um, certainly, uh, I mean, I'm always in, in interested in uh, customer behavior and, and service quality. Um, I find in general, particularly here again in, in St. Petersburg, that a lot of the shoppers are interested in the name brands. And, and we have that in Canada as well, but we have a lot more now of, of private label. So the individual retailers have their own products, which in terms of quality is, is, has improved uh, quite a bit over the last number of years, particularly in supermarkets. Um, in terms of research, I'm really interested in, in how shopping behavior changes over time. Uh, I've spent a, a number of research trips in the Baltics, and particularly Estonia, and I've been collecting uh, service quality retailing every five years to try and understand uh, what, uh, what uh, trends and what changes have occurred. And I think, um, like a lot of markets, as the retail sector develops, uh, there's more interested in selection, but also quality. Um, the price is the price, for, for lack of a better word. And it's the retailers that can afford or do a better job at the service side of things, uh, I think will continue to be more successful because the consumers are getting more demanding. Uh, consumers know more. Uh, they have access to the internet and can 
hear what other people say about products and about stores. So I think um, to some degree there'll be a convergence, but I still think it's interesting to track over time because I still believe that different cultures in different countries and different cities have their own unique aspects of shopping. But at the end of the day, I always argue retailing is about buying a product that people want and, and, and selling it at a fair price and giving them good service. So, um, but I think it's um, just doing research on, on different markets is important to do to document some of these things. Right. So. The consumer behavior is different, but at the end of the day, the consumer basket would be the same. <laughs> um, very much so. I, I think, again, it depends what type of retailing. Um, certainly supermarkets, um, we have uh, Costco where you would only shop once a month there and you would buy very large quantities. Uh, I do get the sense in St. Petersburg and in, and in Europe in general, uh, particularly in food shopping, there's more frequent shopping. And, maybe buying less a at a time, but I think that's also just the historic culture of having, wanting to buy more fresh products um, and not, as we say, filling up a whole minivan full of uh, like hundreds of rolls of toilet paper and uh, 20 boxes of macaroni and cheese at a time. Um, that it's, 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 it's those, some of those things are still different. Mm -hmm. So we luck minivans. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, they're not the coolest vehicle to be driving, but they are very practical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, and um, looking forward for your seminar, and maybe we can someday just start another research here in Russia. Great, thank you. Thank you very much.